Hello, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss the ISO designation or the ISO nomenclature of turning holder. So here on the screen, you can see a turning holder. So the portion in black color, that is nothing but the turning holder. And the portion in golden color, that is a cutting insert. And that cutting insert is clamped over the turning holder. Okay, so uh, here you can see the standard designation of turning holder, that is P, C, L, N, L, 25, 25, M, dash, 12. So this is a standard designation of a turning holder. There may be a different designation for different holders. Now, uh, you can see the nine different locations. So at location number one, capital letter P is there. At location two, capital C. At location three, capital L. At location four, N. At location 5, L. At location 6, 25. At location 7, again 25. Then at location 8, capital M. And at location 9, 12 is there. Okay. So these are nothing but different location. And these locations have different meaning. So location number 1, that is insert clamping method. That means how that insert is clamped over the holder that is denoted by location number 1. Then location 2 decides the shape of insert. That means which kind of shape, uh, which kind of insert you are using and the shape of that insert is denoted by location 2. Location 3 denotes the holder style. That means how that holder is approaching while machining that is denoted by location 3. Location 4 uh, gives the insert clearance angle. Then location 5, that is nothing but hand of holder. So your holder may be a left hand, right hand or neutral. Location, uh, location 6 denotes the shank height. Location 7 denotes shank width. Location 8 denotes the holder length, that is length of the holder. And location 9 denotes the length of cutting edge length. Okay, So cutting edge length of the insert that is denoted by location 9. So these are different location and each location has its own meaning. And there are different letters or numbers that is written over different location. So now we will discuss one by one location in detail. So very first location. That is clamping method of insert. That means how that insert is clamped over the holder. Okay. So uh, the very first diagram that is denoted by letter C. And there you can see the top clamping without hole. Okay. That means the insert is clamped from the top position and that insert do not have any hole. Then letter D that is top and hole clamping. So it is clamped. Um, from the top and again that insert has hole then letter m top and hole clamping and it is multi uh, multi clamp pin and clamp okay so one pin will be provided and it is clamped from upper side as well as from bottom side then letter p hole clamping pin lock so one pin will be there for clamping and that insert has a hole letter s screw clamp so a screw will be provided for clamping the insert over the turning holder then letter, uh, letter W, top and hole clamping, so wedge clamping, pin and clamp. So it is a kind of a wedge clamping. Okay, that means the first position denotes the type of clamping, clamping method of insert. So how that insert is clamped over the holder that is denoted by location 1. And as there are different letters and those letters denotes the various methods of clamping. So in our uh, designation, the letter P is written. So letter P denotes hole clamping. So that insert has a hole and uh, a pin is there for clamping the insert over the holder. Now second location. So second location denotes the shape of insert. So here on the screen, you can see various shape of inserts. So the insert may be in rectangular shape. Then round shape, square shape, triangular shape, rhombic shape, parallelogram shape. So there are different uh, shapes of the inserts which are available in the market. So uh, for round shape, a letter R is there. For rectangular shape, letter L is there. For square shape, letter S is there. For triangular shape, letter T is there. For rhombic shape, letter V is there. 
so likewise there are various shapes of the insert again you can see the various angles like 80 degree 55 degree 75 degree uh, 55 degree 35 degree so these angles is nothing but the angle between the faces of the insert so if you are using 80 degree uh, insert that means you have to use that insert for roughing operation because during roughing operation more depth of cut is there and uh, for that there should be more material inside the insert and 80 degree provides quite good material to that insert so 55 that is used for medium uh, roughing operation whereas 35 degree insert that is used for finishing operation because during finishing operation there is uh, less depth of cut and you can use 35 degree insert so the second position denotes the shape of insert now the third location so third location denotes the holder style that means how that holder is approaching that is denoted by the third location so here you can see the various angles like 75 degree 45 degree 60 degree 90 degree 93 degree 75 degree and for that there are various letters like b d e f g j k so these are nothing but different styles of the holder and holder style denotes the approach angle and most widely uh, j that is 90 93 degree and l that is 95 degree holder style is used now we will discuss the fourth location uh, the fourth location denotes the insert clearance angle so now why the clearance is provided over the insert that clearance angle avoids the rubbing action that is why the clearance is provided over the insert so while machining your insert may rub over the surface of the workpiece and that you have to avoid and that can be avoided by providing the clearance angle over the insert so the letter b denotes 5 degree clearance angle letter c denotes 7 degree then 15 degree 20 degree 25 degree 0 degree 11 degree okay in our designation uh, the letter n is there so for letter n the insert clearance angle is 0 degree then uh, the location number 5 so location number 5 denotes hand of the tool holder so your tool holder may be a left handed right handed or neutral so here in this diagram you can see the left handed tool holder neutral tool holder and right handed tool holder <coughs> now we will discuss the sixth location sixth location denotes the height of the shank so here in this diagram the portion in black color that is nothing but the shank of that turning holder so it will have certain height and certain width and that height and width is denoted by location 6 and location 7 okay so here in standard designation 25 and 25 is written that means that the height of that shank is 25 mm and width of the shank is also 25 mm so here you can see uh, the height of the shank that is denoted by letter H and width of the shank is denoted by letter W. Then location 8. So location 8 denotes the length of the holder. Okay. <coughs> so if uh, letter A is written in standard designation then it is, uh, it is a holder with 32 mm length. If letter H is there that means 100 mm length. If letter Q is there 180 mm length for B 40 mm, for J 110 mm, for R 200 mm, for C 50 mm, for K 125 mm and for S 250 mm. So the location 8 denotes the length of the holder. Now the last location that is length of cutting edge. So the insert will have a certain cutting edge and that cutting edge will have a length and your <coughs> location 9 denotes the length of cutting edge insert so here you can see different shapes of the insert parallelogram rhombic then hexagonal rectangle uh, rectangle rectang uh, rectangular sorry rectangular so these are nothing but different uh, different shapes of the insert and here you can see the length of the insert okay so in our designation at location number nine you can see uh, 12 is written over there that means you are using the insert with 12, 12 mm 
cutting edge length so this is nothing but a standard designation of turning holder i hope you have understood the designation of turning holder in previous video i have discussed the designation of cutting insert so i request you please refer that video and after that watch this video for better understanding and for the latest update please subscribe my youtube channel thank you so much